Before I begin this video, I just want to give my sincere condolences to the family of Adam Johnson and anybody that had to watch that tragedy unfold. If you don't know what I'm talking about, over the weekend a hockey player named Adam Johnson got his throat cut by a skate in a game and unfortunately passed away from the incident. I had planned to make the video before this incident happened and that plan will continue, but out of respect for everybody involved, I will not be talking about this tragedy. My heart goes out to everybody involved and may Adam Johnson rest in peace. Since it's Halloween and today is supposed to be scary, I'm going to talk about five of the scariest moments in sports history. This video will talk about injuries, health problems, and times where some people believed that an athlete might die. I will be showing clips of some of the moments, not all, but some, so viewer discretion is advised. Hopefully you all enjoy the video, and without further ado, let's begin. On September 10th, 2012, on an episode of Monday Night Raw, Jerry Lawler and Michael Cole were calling a match like any other day. That was until fans at home heard snoring coming from the commentators. Jerry Lawler suffered a heart attack on live television, and chaos ensued. Paramedics would attend to Lawler in attempt to revive him as Michael Cole was still calling the match. Eventually Lawler was transported backstage where paramedics would continue to help him. It was reported that he was clinically dead for around 20 minutes before he was resuscitated. Lawler would thankfully make a full recovery and return back to work about three months later. Everybody was happy to see Lawler back doing what he loves, but his heart attack was definitely a scary scene for all. It was a great day for basketball fans on October 17th because it was the start of the 2017-2018 NBA regular season. It was an especially exciting day for Boston Celtics fans because their team was supposed to be crazy good this season. Halfway through the first quarter of the Celtics vs. Cavaliers game, free agent signing Gordon Hayward went up to catch a lob and missed it. When he fell, however, that's where our incident takes place. Hayward fell awkwardly on his foot, which caused it to rotate about 90 degrees away from where it should be. Everybody on the court near him immediately closed their eyes and ran as far away as they could. The scene was horrific. Hayward described it as the worst pain he's ever felt in his life. He wouldn't face NBA talent again until August 28th when he played a one-on-one -on -one game against Bradley Beal, basically 10 months since his injury. Now in 2023, Hayward is on the Hornets and is a solid contributor on their team, which is great to hear, because some people were wondering if he would ever play basketball again following that horrific injury in 2017. On June 12, 2021, Denmark was playing a match against Finland in Euro 2020. Fans were extremely excited since this tournament was delayed a year due to the pandemic, and Denmark supporters had hoped that their team could go far in this tournament. But 43 minutes into the match, everything changed. Denmark player Christian Eriksen collapsed to the ground after receiving a throw-in. Players and doctors quickly rushed the field to make sure Eriksen was alright, but it was very evident that he was not. Eriksen was laying on the ground motionless, surrounded by players, doctors, and coaches, and not a single one of them knew what was going on. It was made clear in these moments that he was quote-unquote gone, but was brought back to life after one shock from the defibrillator. All of the players then formed a circle around Ericsson to prevent anybody from seeing what was going on, most of them showcasing some sort of fear, shock, or sadness on their faces. Ericsson was transported to a hospital where hours later it was announced that he was alive and stabilized. Ericsson wouldn't return to the pitch until February 26, 2022 in a 2-0 defeat to Newcastle United. Thankfully, Ericsson made a full recovery, and it was great to see him playing the game he loves once again. During a regular season game against the St. Louis Blues, Buffalo Sabres goaltender Clint Malarchuk went to stop the puck when a skate came up and sliced his throat. Blood poured all over the ice and officials rushed to get him help. I will not be showing the video, but here is the commentary of when it happened. Here's the pass, on into the Buffalo zone, Mahar goes to the corner of the pass, and oh wow! Uh, watch Malarchuk, that's a story right now with the red. Look in. That is the oh, oh my god. Oh, please take the camera oh, off and don't geez. even bring it over there. Please. Oh my god. Just keep it away. Oh, oh. terrible. Oh 
my, oh my god, what happened? Pretty scary stuff. Thankfully, Malarchuk survived and needed 300 stitches to repair his throat. All these incidents I have talked about took the athletes months to recover. In Malarchuk's case, however, he was back on the ice within 10 days of the injury. However, his battle wasn't over. Years later, he was diagnosed with PTSD, fell into a deep depression, and attempted suicide twice, including once in 2008 when he shot himself in the chin, but miraculously survived. He is doing much better now, but without a doubt that injury hurt him more than just physically. On January 2, 2023, in a game between the Bengals and the Bills, Bills safety DeMar Hamlin went for a routine tackle on Bengals receiver T. Higgins, except that play was anything but routine. After standing up and taking a few steps, Hamlin collapsed to the ground and went into cardiac arrest. He was administered CPR and his heartbeat was revived on the field before being taken to the hospital. The game was put on hold for over an hour before they decided to postpone it to a later date. It ended up getting completely cancelled. Hamlin was released from the ICU on January 9th and transported to a Buffalo Medical Center before being discharged on January 11th. DeMar Hamlin is cleared to play football, but so far this season he has only gotten into one game. Watching this game live and seeing everything unfold was definitely a scary moment for myself and everybody else who watched or played in that game. And there we have it, five of the scariest moments in sports history. If you like what you saw, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment telling me the scariest sports moment in your opinion. Once again, I appreciate you all taking time out of your days to watch my videos, and I will see you all again very soon.